Welcome back. Today we're going to the zoo. What's the gorilla doing? Sleeping. So we just bought four tickets to go on the train. Here they come! Why is he swimming upside down? I like to swim. Eventually they'll all come back over this side. The reason that they're swimming upside down is because from the way that their eyes are located on the top of their heads, when they swim upside down, they have a better view of the sea floor with more of their face. A very gray and black speckled coat while these guys have more caramel and chocolatey colors. Mom, Mom. One more way to tell the difference is if you look at their ears, the seal is only going to have ear holes while the sea lion 
has those cute little Shrek ears. Those are ear flaps that cover up their ear holes uh, while they are swimming. And now we are going to get on to the last leg of our training session here. We're going to bring out our big boy Chino in just a moment. Chino is the largest and oldest sea lion we have. You guys probably know him. He's about 17 years old and he's just a lovely guy. Is Chino. Chino is our oldest and largest sea lion. He's about 17 years old. And he is the father to every single sea lion in this exhibit, except for his mate, Gemini. <laughs> All right, so Chino is a fully grown bull sea lion. So that's gonna put him about 600 pounds. A bull sea lion can get anywhere from 600 to 800 pounds, however, so this guy is actually a little bit on the smaller side. here at our zoo has an incredibly interesting story that I would love to share with you guys. So, Chino, even though he's here at our zoo now, he was actually born out in the wild. When he was about a year old, he found himself caught in a fishing net out in the open ocean, out in the ocean rather, and rescuers were able to thankfully find him, but unfortunately as he was growing and had that net wrapped around him, that net was wrapped around his neck, um, the net did not grow as he grew, so that created a lot of scar tissue on his neck. As we can see that line on his neck, um, it is not a double chin, that is scar tissue for Mr. Chino. Thankfully though, as, as I said, the keepers were, I mean rather, the rescuers were able to find him, bring him in under human care and rehabilitate him, and he made a wonderful recovery. However, because of that scar tissue on his neck, he's not able to open up his mouth as wide as a sea lion should be able to. As we can see, just like that, um, he was not able to open up his mouth as wide as his mate or any of his pups were able to, or any of his offspring. So because of that, the rescuers who found him uh, determined that he would have the best quality of life and best chance at life under human care. Because remember, if he was out in that open ocean, with that mouth, he may not be able to eat as much as a regular sea lion would be able um, to. So now, we are in the jungle looking for some monkeys. Now we're looking for the black-headed spider monkey, which is right up there. And now we're going to see where these steps take us. Did it, when you 
long-term effect on it. The water is yeah. freezing cold. How's it feel? Feel it. I know, but the fish don't like to be touched. You can touch anything on top of here, though. And here, and the part of the zoo, too, are, is an aquarium. And there are sharks. Sharks and there are... videos.